Let's take a look at blended objects using the Blend tool. I want to start with two objects that are exactly alike. If I get my Blend tool, click on it twice, I get a menu, and I have some options. Smooth color, specified steps, distance. If I go smooth color, then it's just going to transition from this one to that one, from one color to the other. They're both pink, so that's not going to be as impressive as if you were going from one color to a different one. So for this one, we want to do specified steps. And we'll try six steps between them. It's going to create six boxes evenly spaced in the distance that spans here and here. So let's have a look. You notice nothing happened. All I've done so far is set up my menu. Now to go back and use the tool, click and click, and there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes evenly spaced between the two. This is great for borders. This is great to outline something. You can use this in many ways. But to make it a little more interesting, if I take one of these and change the color, then you see that we start to get a little more interest. We've got the pink going into the purples, turning into the blue, so it's blending from one color to the other. Just another little thing that you can do with this is to take the line that spans it and getting, I, I've gone to my pen tool and down to the anchor point tool and just move this around. Now I could even take this and make it kind of a swirl. Something kind of interesting just using one box to another with um, evenly spaced and created boxes in between. One more thing that I could do right now is to change just get one of these, is to change the corner points of one using the widgets, change it, and you'll notice that it starts to morph a little bit and go to the rounded corner. So that's just with two objects that are similar or are different colors. Now let's look at the same thing if I have one shape and a different shape. I'm going to slide that out just a little bit. Blend tool, go from this to that, and it's going to use the parameters that I had before. Now you notice that the circle starts to morph and ends up like a star. And again, I could use the anchor point tool and move this line around so that it followed a different path instead of just straight. This is interesting in that we're going from just a V-shape to another. I want to show you what smooth color looks like. So we'll turn it on that, hit OK. Once again, nothing really happens until you actually select it with the blend tool itself. Oops, got to get right on the line. And there you have kind of like a comet. It could be a really cool feature to add into some artwork. These are some basics of the Blend tool. And once again, as you make changes, these shift and adjust on the fly. So kind of a fun way to make a border or one really beneficial use I've found with this is to take and make an object of any color. Maybe you're trying to figure out a color palette so we'll make that kind of light yellowish green and duplicate it, move it on the artboard where you can see it. Let's make this one a darker color, say to dark green. Blend between those two to get a color palette that you might use in some artwork. Now if I wanted 
to add these to my swatches because this is blended at this moment. It's a blended object instead of individual pieces. Let me show you. I'm just going to con hit Control y to get to Outlines. So it's only really reading the first and the last that we started with and blended between. You can see that on all of these. Go back to let it get the color information from all of these. I need to take go to Object and Expand. Take the defaults, hit Expand, and then these become individual objects. They're all selected, so if I go to my Swatches and add selected colors, then I can see here are the colors that I just created, and I have them as swatches, uh, other options in my swatches. So that's kind of a cool feature to use for the blending options. These are just the basics that you can do to create blended objects using the Blend tool.